Okay, so now that you guys have practiced um, what happens in, in a market, you've got this whole idea of disequilibrium with shortages and surpluses, and you've got this idea how supply and demand can still change, which will alter the equilibrium. The final thing we need to look at is this whole idea of well, what about when government gets involved? There are some times and some situations where the government will get involved and they will actually institute a price control. So the two types of price controls we have are price ceilings and price floors. And we have some examples there. So last class, um, several of you in the class read some articles that were about this whole idea of rent control departments and about minimum wage. And so I need a volunteer from each side to come to the front and kind of talk the class through this whole idea of price ceilings and then another volunteer or two to talk everybody through price floors. I would like for you to explain why we do them, um, explain what the benefits are and the consequences, how would we draw them, and then kind of just maybe like lead the class in a like a short little discussion about this. I know this is kind of like nerve wracking and stuff, and I really appreciate you doing this when I'm gone. Um, I appreciate it a lot. These things will be on your quiz or your test, your test next class. So we want to make sure that we understand them. Certainly I'll answer questions next time, but I need to see some genuine effort from you guys today. So thank you in advance to whoever volunteers.